A hot dog shop is making big news. We feel your parenting during Corona struggle. A popular smoothie bowl franchise is opening another location. And we've got some St. Patty's Day pubs for you to check out. Happy Monday, folks. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm buying a cow just so I can name it John Bon Bovine. And you're listening to Today in NJ for Monday, March 16th, 2020. I never thought that a 59-year-old hot dog stand in Clifton would be such big news, but that's exactly what it is, for one big reason. Previously at the Hot Dog Grill, if you wanted one of their delicious dogs, you'd have to pay with cold hard cash. But for the first time ever, the Hot Dog Grill starting this week began accepting Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover cards. Now I know what you're thinking. Libby, it's a hot dog place. What's the big deal? Well, people go absolutely wild for these dogs. One customer even drove three hours for a taste, and the hot dog girl was ranked among the 25 best hot dog joints in the state last year by NJ Advance Media. The hot dog girl prides themselves on their delicious chili dogs, and yeah, okay, I'm hungry now. Parents who are stuck working at home from the coronavirus, we feel your pain. Parents who are stuck working at home the same time your kids are stuck at home, we really feel your pain. Our reporter Jessica Beam knows a thing or two about juggling those two jobs, and she has some advice for those of us who find ourselves having lots of family time in the next few weeks. So what's her advice? She says it'll probably take a village, a village full of in-laws, grandparents, or neighborhood babysitters, and also two weeks' worth of cookies and boxes of wine to help you get through it. You can check out Jess's Work at Home Survival Guide on NJ.com or by clicking on the link in our show notes. Everybody's favorite shore-based smoothie shop is opening another location. That's right, Pliables is set to open a shop in Manahawkin to join the other 47 locations. This shop's going to be 1,000 square feet and located at 399 North Main Street. Did you know that the Washington Post recently ranked Pliables on its list of five spots for when you want something fast, healthy, and good for lunch? It's totally true, too. And now I'm craving an acai bowl. Dang. With a bunch of St. Patrick's Day parades getting canceled, you're probably wondering what to do instead. We'll never fear because me and Pete Genovese are here. He composed a list of NJ's best Irish pubs, and I'm going to tell you a few to spark some inspiration. And even if you can't go out to visit, it's always fun to argue over which pubs are the best. So first, check out William's Irish Tavern in Washington Borough. You know it's good for Irish food if it's got Irish in the name, and this place offers Guinness barbecue wings. That literally sounds incredible. So next, stop by The Quiet Man in Dover. This place has all the Irish staples like fish and chips, shepherd's pie, bangers and chops. Plus, the pub scalloped potatoes are so popular, you can buy them in a tray. I'll take 10 to go, thanks. Lastly, try Finnegan's Pub if you find yourself in Hoboken. This place is classic Irish pub with a twist. The twist being quesadillas, pizza, and nachos. And oh, how can I forget the upstairs ski ball room with a piano? Take me there now. So I got the full list at NJ.com or by clicking on the link in our show notes. That's all we've got for today in NJ. If you're hungry for more news, you could check us out at NJ.com. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode. Check out our show notes for information about the stories we mentioned today and send in any suggestions you have for stories at podcasts at NJAdvanceMedia.com. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm going to go get an electric mermaid acai bowl from Pliables. Have a great day, New Jersey.